So guys, it's Gorit with a new video. Air Missions Hind is released on uh, on Xbox One this week. It's a great, great game. I, I played the demo first, so it's free to try. You can just play two missions uh, just to, to check it out on Xbox One. Uh, just look up Hind in the in the store and, and you'll find it. It's, um, it's a game. It's an indie game, so only 16, uh, so 15.99. It's it's not a lot of money. I think it's way worth it. I I purchased the on the same evening. I started playing the single missions. Awesome missions. Uh, this is a bit sim like. It's it's when you use pilot uh, controls, it's really not that difficult. If you, if you know how to fly a helicopter in Battlefield, you know how to fly this one. I just had to remap the, the buttons, the controls, and I'll do, a, I'll, do, I'll do a video on that as well. So I'll put a link in the description to that video once, I, once it's made. Um, but, you know, to get the hang of the controls wasn't that difficult. I just had to map the, uh, the I-axis of the le left stick and the right stick. So normally when you have a drone or when you have a when you're flying a helicopter you use the left stick up and down to raise your altitude or to lower your altitude and left stick left right makes the the air the aircraft yaw then you have the right stick to use the banking so forward banking sideways sideways and and back uh, that's that's how, what you do the right stick for that's what I'm used to that's the normal battlefield controls um, and for some reason, the developer for this game, Three Division, a company from Slovakia, they they use the default settings a bit different. So, uh, like I said, I'll do a, I'll do a video on the, the the remapping of the buttons for for Xbox One. There's not much more to say. It's great, great graphics. Looks really nice. It's as far as I'm concerned, almost bug free. I had some loading of the trees, which was, you know, in, 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 was only once in the couple of hours that I played that I that it was slowly loading. So you were just first seeing the landscape, the hill, and then the the trees were loaded a bit later. But that, like I said, that happened once in four hours of playing. So apart from that, I really like to fly in cockpit mode. Um, I think it's a really good game. Um, simulator in the way that you are using your weapons there's quite a lot of different choices you have for weapons a lot of, you have you can choose some different helicopters as well and i think this is really well modeled uh, especially the behavior of the rockets and, and everything it's really awesome also there is a co-op mode so you can fly together with your friends and there is a multiplayer where you can just fly against uh, other other uh, helicopter pilots a lot of fun uh, as far as I'm concerned so I think it's a, it's a good game and definitely worth checking out for for that price I mean uh, check it out all right I have two more games to, to be announced for uh, for Xbox one one is coming in September but I'll do a video on that later and also an original Xbox one uh, sorry or, original Xbox game is uh, was just announced in the E3 that it's going to be released for Xbox One. So stay tuned. There's a lot more, you know, flying games for, for Xbox One coming up. So stay tuned, guys. Take care.
ракеты с системой наведения МТЛОС. Хорошо. Теперь огонь по неподвижным целям. Они отмечены на радаре. Время. 